Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics and we have a wonderful family here with a little two month old baby. And I'm going to talk about vaccines with them and I talked to so many parents about vaccines at two months of age that I figured that I would record today. And I'll make notes here as I talk with the parents and then I will put the recording up for you guys to watch and the parents will get to take the notes home, okay? So um, we start vaccines at two months of age. There are three shots that we do and a syrup that we give by mouth. All of those vaccines help prevent your baby from getting severe ear, brain, and lung diseases uh, that can be deadly and contagious for kids. The mouth vaccine is a uh, vaccine for a virus called rotavirus that can cause severe diarrhea in kids and adults, okay? So I'll talk to you about those vaccines. Now, I'll be writing down a bunch more than three vaccines because, uh, than three shots, because they're combined into um, shots. There's multiple vaccines in a single shot, okay, to make life easier for kids. So one vaccine that we do at two months of age is called Pediarex. This is one shot, okay? This has multiple vaccines in there. One of them is called DTAP. D is for diphtheria, that's a throat disease. T is for tetanus, uh, that's the kind of the rusty nail uh, disease we're used to. And P is for pertussis or whooping cough, uh, which is a very severe coughing disease and it's very common all over the place, okay? The other vaccine inside uh, Pediorex is called IPV, which is a polio vaccine. Polio is a virus that can cause uh, permanent paralysis, okay? Uh, another one in here is called hepatitis B vaccine, and that protects you against a liver disease caused by a virus that's called hepatitis B virus. So that's one shot. The other shot that they get is called HIB, B as in boy. And this vaccine is for a virus, is for a bacteria that can cause very severe uh, brain infections called meningitis and lung infections and ear infections. There's another one called Prevnar. Prevnar is for a bacteria that can also cause brain infections, lung infections, and ear infections, okay? So there's one shot, two shots, and three shots. The number four vaccine that we give is a syrup that uh, we give by mouth that's called Rota Tech. And this uh, is a vaccine to prevent a severe diarrhea disease caused by a virus called rotavirus, okay? Now, when kids get vaccines, uh, some kids can get fussy and they can get fevers. And if they do get fussy or fevers, you can give them children Tylenol. I'll give you a sheet of paper um, that tells you how much you can use safely, okay? Uh, some babies sleep more, some babies sleep less for a few days, some babies eat more, and some babies eat less. Some babies act as if nothing ever happened, all right? So it's really hard to tell. Um, so that's the main side effects that can happen sometimes with vaccines. You'll be getting vaccine information sheets that spell out more details. Um, all vaccines, just like all medications or antibiotics, can have more severe reactions, or allergic reactions that aren't predictable, just like with other medications that we give. So. Parents worry about side effects, um, and certainly vaccines, like all medications, can have side effects too. Um, but we have to weigh the risks versus the benefits, just like we do with everything else, okay? These vaccines, the three shots, go in the thighs, and after we do the shots, we put band-aids on your baby, and when you go home, as soon as you can, take the band-aids off, because sometimes babies like to pull them off and eat them, and that can be a choking hazard, so we just uh, tell the parents to pull them off very soon, all right? Any questions about that, you guys? Yeah. Excellent, so these vaccines we do at two months, four months, and also six months of age, okay? So these are the same set that they get at these ages, two months, four months, and six months. And then there's another vaccine at nine months, and 12 months, and 15 months, and 18 months, and two years old, and then after that, it kind of dies down as far as vaccines go. So most of the vaccines are given at an early age, and uh, they're given to help protect your kids from, um, infections and things that can cause um, a lot of illness and problems for babies, so they're given an early age. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for allowing me to talk to you about this and recording this. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later, okay?
Thank you. All right. Um, you guys, if you have any comments or questions about the vaccines, I'd love to get feedback from you. Thank you so much.